Good morning. I'm starting out my day with some water. Gotta keep hydrated. I actually did my crystal water. So I set this out during the full moon in Leo two nights ago and having it with my meditation. Now I'm about to have my juice. I definitely want to have something in my system other than water. So I'm doing celery juice. Everyone is talking about celery juice everywhere on social media. My girl Annie has been doing it consistently for so long and she actually inspired me to try it out. I've done this before with just celery and it's just, uh, I don't know, it's very salty as we know. Celery is high in sodium. So the taste kind of threw me off and I was getting a little bit nauseous. I'm taking it one step at a time and hopefully I'll graduate to the level of drinking it solo dolo. So I'm just gonna add some lemon in there to cut the saltiness and then one small apple as well. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this will turn out to be bearable. some oatmeal right now. I just got these instant packs from Trader Joe's. It's oats and flax seeds. So I'm just going to dump this in a bowl and then I'll go ahead and add all of my toppings. I'm just going to make this with some water and keep it super simple. <laughs> So we've got the oats nice and warmed up. Just gonna give that a nice little mix. And then I like to top it off with some other things. Oh, it smells so good, by the way. So I'm gonna do some raisins. And then I'm also gonna add some almonds for a nice crunch, some healthy fats. pieces of banana, some almond butter. Look how amazing this looks, you guys. I love adding texture to my oatmeal because otherwise I feel like I'm eating baby food. So this is what we've got going on. You could definitely switch it up and add your favorite fruit on top. And by the way, this is the oatmeal that I got from the market. It is 12.25. I am definitely in need of an afternoon pick-me-up and I haven't had my coffee yet. Oh my God. Why does that always happen to me? <laughs> This will wake me up because I'm feeling my dog is so sassy today. All right, dolls, I am fresh out of the shower. Coffee still in hand. I thought I should actually sit down and chat with you about my new diet. What is it that I'll be eating? What modifications am I going to be making to what I'm currently eating? And also workout wise, what the heck are we going to do? Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> So let's start with the diet. So today I'm doing sort of like a mix of everything. Let me know if you guys like these type of videos where I just take you throughout my day and focus on one major subject, which is my diet in this case. Hydration game is very strong today. I woke up and had my first glass of water first thing in the morning. I did my crystal water, which I don't have every day. I have a whole video on crystal water. If you don't want to do crystal water, do regular schmegular water, just do what you do. But it's just important to hydrate your body first thing. And I understand why, because you're sleeping for so many hours. And I did do a workout late last night, so I definitely sweated a little bit. So you definitely wanna just replenish your body with hydration. And then after that, you guys saw that I made my green juice. And I really wanna get to the point where I'm able to just do plain celery juice, as I mentioned, but 
it just tastes terrible okay one step at a time making healthier decisions one step at a time so i can eventually get to the place that i want to be and then i had my coffee as you guys saw i did just black espresso from my nespresso machine by the way i'll link that down below with the link to the juicer because those are questions that i get asked all of the time so romy stride oh my gosh i love that girl so much i follow her on instagram i follow a lot of the victoria's secret angels on instagram i love joja they do so many like cool like workouts together and they just i don't know they make me feel inspired to get my fitness game going and i think that's important you need to find inspiration wherever you can get it and that's just where you need to start is just find motivation to keep going and keep pushing towards that goal that you want to be at and my goal right now is definitely to gain muscle i want to tone my body and continue to see more muscle definition in the areas that i struggle in i don't weigh myself i don't even have a scale i don't know the last time I got weighed actually I do when I was at the doctor last and I really don't think those skills are accurate because you're wearing all your clothes and then you get weighed in the middle of the day not first thing in the morning so I really don't know what I weigh I just know like a general bracket I don't go based off of number how are my clothes fitting how do I feel inside am I tired what's my energy level like that's where I kind of base my health okay I did take a lot of my inspiration to sort of tweak my diet I'm gonna put this in quotations because I don't want to say it's a diet I feel like diets are fads they're things that you do temporarily to get temporary results and then you reverse back to where you started so this is more like a new lifestyle change a routine change little things that I want to incorporate within what I'm already doing so I watch a lot of Romy strides videos on YouTube and again I watch her on Instagram or follow her on Instagram and I love that she takes you throughout just her regular life what is she eating what type of workouts is she doing as a model and what she does for work you know the people that she's around for me that's a lot of awesome motivation to get active every day this girl goes to the gym all the time I want to be at the point where I can do at least four to five workouts in a week and I was reading some articles as well and I was making a meal plan yes I made a meal plan based off of Romy strides lifestyle and I wanted to kind of incorporate some of those habits and meals within my own routine what is this new meal plan gonna look like of course I am dairy free she is not I don't think so um, but that's fine everyone can eat what they want to eat I don't care what you eat you shouldn't care what I eat at the end of the day just worry about yourself so I'm gonna go ahead and start my mornings out with lemon water today I did regular water but Romy will do lemon water that's warm mixed with either apple cider vinegar or a little bit of ginger which is awesome it's a great way to kickstart your digestion and hydrate first thing in the morning then she'll go ahead and do her AM workout for an hour I love that she preaches that you shouldn't overwork yourself you shouldn't overdo it and if you feel like you're really tired that day that's fine take a rest day I'll watch a vlog of hers and she'll do an AM workout and then she'll go do another workout at the end of the day I get it she's a model that's her job that is motivation for me to be inspired to want to do those things um, but at the same time I'm not about to go to the gym twice a day I'm just not about to do that but maybe one day I'll get there maybe one day I'll want to do two workouts in a day it just honestly all depends and speaking of workouts she has a couple of really good ones you guys saw I did her ab workout which kicked my butt you guys all said in that video wow like I would be dying yeah me I was actually dying if you're like me and you're just balling on a budget I don't want to spend $300 on an Equinox membership that's fine like I get it I love doing my own workouts here in my apartment gym I like doing strength training based exercises that's what works for me that's what I enjoy and that's what I want to continue to stick to I can even do those workouts here in my own home so I love that I don't think you need to necessarily spend a lot of money on studio sessions and trainers unless you feel like you don't know where to start then that might be good for you but for me like I got it I can find inspiration anywhere there's youtube.com for a reason with tons of workouts to do so I appreciate that she did her ab workout she has a butt workout so I added that into the mix that I want to try just to try new things so you don't feel like you're doing the same thing you know every single day and one more thing to mention she has this cardio blast I was reading an article about and I want to try it but it's gonna be a challenge for me let me know if you guys are advanced enough to do this or if I'm just like a little wimp but she does 15 minutes of a walk on an incline on the treadmill then she'll do 15 minutes of running 15 minutes of an inclined walk and then 15 minutes of running so that's a 45 minute cardio session I personally think that's gonna be a huge challenge for me because 
I'm lucky enough if I can run for three minutes. So 15 is really pushing it, it's really stretching it, but that gives me a goal to work towards, to be able to say that, oh my gosh, like yeah, I run for 15 minutes straight, like. <laughs> It's nothing. No, no, no. I'm not there yet. But one day we'll hopefully get there. And I think that it's going to be a fun little challenge for me to work towards. So what I love about Romy and why I'm sort of using her structure to help me is because it's pretty much what I do now. I'm active in the gym. I try to eat as clean as I can. She does a lot of lean proteins, lots of fruit, lots of veggies. She loves her avocados, her healthy fats from her nuts, and the quinoa and all of that stuff. Stuff. So I think it's just gonna make me a little bit more mindful, you know, of the foods that I'm eating and what is it that I'm cooking? Like what am I what ingredients am I putting in my meals at the end of the day? So this video is just gonna kind of take you throughout a what I eat in a day to give you some ideas of meals that you can have and what basically I'll be eating on this journey. And like I said, this isn't really gonna be a new diet for me. It's really just making those little adjustments, those little tweaks to be a little bit more healthier in my everyday life. All right, and here is my lunch for today. I topped it off with some chicken, avocado, and the base is just kale and a bunch of other greens. So just a really great way to add in a nice volume of raw veggies and especially greens which is where I struggle the most and then the dressing is just black pepper pink Himalayan salt and then some olive oil and then a little bit of apple cider vinegar these are definitely um, very addicting dark chocolate sunflower seed buttercups they're dairy free which is awesome and the ingredients aren't that bad so I'm gonna have one of these there's two in each little pack and I actually keep them in the freezer so that they get nice and crunchy and they're just mm, so good. So this is what I have broken down for myself. I think this is probably the easiest way to go about creating a meal plan. Where you can go wrong is when you start meal prepping. Like you get so excited, you meal prep the same chicken, rice, and broccoli dish and you're eating the same thing twice a day for three days, that is where you lose motivation. So I ended up just going ahead and doing some options in each category, breakfast, snacks, drinks, beverages, lunch, dinner, and then some workout links to videos, just as an overview. What I love about this is I can go in each category and just choose something off the list. So every single day is a little bit different. There's a little bit of variation and I don't feel like I'm eating the same things every single day. So we have avocado toast with egg as an example. Let's move on down into snacks. This is where it gets super fun. There's a lot of cool options to choose from. So I noticed that there's a lot of acai bowls being added into the mix. Fresh fruit with almond butter is always a great option. You know, honestly, this is what I like too. Clean ingredients, everything in the title is all the ingredients that you need, okay? Rice cakes with banana and almond butter. Romy loves her vegan chocolate, so that's great. Everything in moderation, fresh fruit. Rice cakes with avocado topped with chickpeas. You could also do roasted chickpeas. You could do your protein smoothies immediately after your workout. So I group lunch and dinner together because I feel like you could do either or for each meal. So lots of salads with a lean protein like chicken Chicken, fish, shrimp, whatever you like, just go ahead and choose from that list. Chicken with a lot of veggies, roasted or sauteed, and then a nice healthy side salad with your greens. You could also add grains into your salads like quinoa, which is really beneficial and has a great source of plant-based proteins as well. And you could just do a simple quinoa bowl with veggies and chickpeas. Or you can do like a spinach salad topped with brown rice, chickpeas, and veggies. You see here there's a common theme. And then I just wrote out some workout plans as well. I had mentioned this earlier today in the video. So that's just like a breakdown of my meal plan and you can have a better insight on what I'll be eating. It's not boring at all. There's definitely a lot of variation. But again, it's super simple, clean foods, and it just focuses on simplifying everything. And that's what I love the most about this meal plan. Oh, 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 oh.